Hey everyone, it is Laura here and I have a plant that I want to bring you today. I want to talk about, this is actually called, it's got a couple of different names, uh, purple passion plant or purple velvet plant. I prefer to call it the purple velvet plant. I'll put the botanical name um, so you can see it. It's very difficult to um, pronounce. And as you can kind of see there by looking at the leaves, it's got kind of this iridescent purple look and what it is is the leaves are green but there's almost like these little hairs that um, cover the purple hairs that cover the green leaf. Where is it from? It's actually from Indonesia which that's kind of cool. So I've had this plant for maybe a month now and it has grown. I've kind of learned with it. I've had this plant in the past and I had troubles with it so um, I kind of wanted to talk about it a little bit because I've done a lot of research to find the best way to, to grow it and I was looking up some different things to try to figure out what I had done wrong with it in the past. And so first of all a couple of different things I want to start off with is how easy is it to grow. So this one can be a little bit picky. If you are a new plant, new to plants, I don't know if this is the one that I would go with first, but I'm always like, you know what, if you're going to get a plant, just get a plant. If you like it, get it, and you'll figure it out. Um, and even if you don't figure it out, I think what a lot of times happens is people do get discouraged, and so then they stop. They think that they're just terrible um, plant people. And the thing is, is I love plants, and I've loved plants for years, and you know how many plants I've killed? So you have to kind of look at it like that. So... When you're watering it, don't get the water on the leaves that will cause, and I kind of found that one out myself without even researching it. It just seemed like they did worse and they got soggy and, and just didn't look very well. This plant is very prone to root rot, and I think that's actually the first plant that I had. I think that was the problem that I had with it, is it got some root rot. The big and thing is, is you don't want to overwater these this plant um, because it can get root rot very easily. The roots are very fragile, so it's kind of tricky. This is why maybe not the easiest to, if you're a beginner with plants, you have to make sure that the soil is completely dry before watering it. And then also, um, yeah, just make sure that you're not underwatering it too. That's the other thing. Another thing about their roots is they also like to actually grow root bound, which I thought was really interesting. So basically what you're going to want to do probably is keep them in smaller pots. Even this pot maybe is too big of a pot for this, but you want to keep them in there and I probably wouldn't change them very often. I haven't been through that phase with this yet, but that's what my research I found. Let's talk about fertilizer. Now, you probably want to do fertilizer every two to four weeks you reduce the fertilizer in the winter. It likes bright and direct light and you want to keep it three to six feet away from the window so it doesn't get burned on its leaves. I think actually one of this little area here is where it got burned a little bit. The interesting thing about the flower on this plant is that they're very pretty. I've never seen the flower, but it's got like an orange. I've seen pictures of it, and it's orange colored, and it's very, very pretty, especially with the contrast of the purple and the green. But there, supposedly it has a foul smell, and so, yeah, you want to probably cut those. It also attracts flies, so you probably want to cut those off when you see them. Um, but, yeah, I, I will see if we get some flowers on this. When it flowers, that usually typ that typically means that it's gotten reached its full maturity. So these plants do not live very long. They usually live about two to three years. And that's why you probably want to propagate this. If you really do like this plant, you can propagate this from stem cuttings. I've never done that myself, but I do plan on doing that because I just think this is kind of a cool plant in my collection. And so, yeah, so if you figure that this lasts about two to three years, um, you could probably do your propagation well before then. With pruning, you want to aggressively prune this so it doesn't get too leggy. And then also you want to make sure, now this one's a, a smaller one so it's hard to do this, but you want to make sure once the leaves start hitting, the, the, touching the soil that you may want to trim them. I'm looking for one, I may trim this leaf here, but if they get too close to the soil you want to make sure to prune it. Um, but you just have to be careful when it's small like this, it's a little harder to do. So I haven't done that quite yet, but I probably will end up doing it. It's Doing it. It's doing quite nicely with um, with the growing. I actually keep it in my bathroom on a sill. 
um, where it gets kind of some bright indirect light throughout the day. And like I said, you want to get that six to eight hours of that bright indirect light. And also because of the fact that it likes humidity. So it is, like I said, a, a tropical plant. So it does like that humidity and it does seem to grow really well in the bathroom. It's easy. This is a little bit of a picky plant. And so I don't know if this is the first one that you should start with, but I always encourage if there's any plant that you like, just get it and then research about it and see if you can make it work. And a lot of times um, if you research about it, you'll find interesting things, maybe what you're doing wrong. And so just get it. If you like it, just get it. All right, guys. Well, this is your purple passion plant. I hope you enjoyed this video and stay tuned for the next videos that I'll make with my thousands of plants that I feel like I have. And yeah, this is a really fun plant. So if you like it, if you think it's interesting, don't be afraid of it. Just do a little research and hope this video helps. Until next time, please make sure to subscribe, hit the thumbs up on this video to let me know you like these kind of videos and also hit the notification bell so you can get the latest notification to the videos that I post right away. All right, guys. Until next time.